Hi, good evening, everyone. I'm your host, Jagger C25 for for W News. Uh, wow, WarriorWare has been through some big, big changes recently. Anyway, our first thing on the agenda, we got with new members come new new nations. One in the form of pretty much doors. I'm their leader. Um, their leader average really loves doors, and we've been to his base a couple times. There's actually a lot of different doors and a lot of door variety in, in that beautiful, beautiful country. Anyway, it is called Doorland, and they're and they're gonna be and these two countries are gonna be present on the country's tier list today. Anyway, and then the next one, which is very secretive, there's Air Statka. Um, we don't know where the name's from, but like, but their members are very violent, but very nice at the same time. Anyway, then new members, we it with these new members, it's pretty cool. We have Third World Games of the Jungle Empire, Person of Air Statska, and Fish Kebab of Air Statska. Anyway, also another really big thing that's been happening at WarriorWare, there are colonies now. Colonies, like, mainly established by the Jungle Empire, which are, which, one of the big, two, big two are, there is the, um, there's the Boscage Mining Co., which reports do say that workers are being disputed there, but that's besides the point. The Jungle Empire is a great and beautiful place where all people are happy. Even, even the workers, which definitely aren't being mistreated. As well as Port Royal, which is actually currently under construction right now. Port Royal is going to be a very beautiful colony, and back in the original, back back in the olden days, Port Royal was in, was a colony originally established by the Emperor, which was well, it was going good until Becria invaded it and kind of burnt it to the ground, forcing forcing the Emperor to evacuate, which is a terrible tragedy. Also, there has been some a little bit of trolling at at the Deep Sleep statue nearby the Emperor's castle, which which, which mainly consists of L plus ratio, and we don't know who the culprit will be, but, but we do have a few suspects on our hands. Up next, oh boy, uh, our Lord and Savior Burger Cat, Burger the Cat, in, has has descended from the heavens, and you can go see him in the Jungle Empire on his, on his monument throne. Be sure to pay your respects. Morning, all people caught arming Burger, will be shot and killed on sight by crossbows. You have not warned. Be a strange sheep has also descended into a little area called called Beans King. Beans King is some weird sheep we don't know much about. Anyway, number five, the country ratings. Well, originally we had the original four, which is Warrior, Jungle Empire, Africa, and Throw Nation. Now we have two new contenders, Doorland and Aristotle. For our, for for our five star ratings, we're gonna have um, Warrior wearing the Jungle Empire, of course, five stars. Four four star is gonna be, of course, there's gonna be a new contender, Doorland. We find Doorland to be an interesting country, and based on uniqueness alone, I believe it's a very promising country. And the Jungle Empire's Department of Civil Affairs has already sent them some packages, some support packages. Be sure which consists of iron. Iron, you should probably use it at Warriors Casino. I, I, we love it a lot. Anyway, next up on mid is Africa. Africa has grown immensely. Plus, they're actually doing some designing, which is very good, very good. And also at three mid, we also have Aristotska. Aristotska is developing, developing quite well, and I, the Empire actually has their sights on it. Make sure they become a promising country. Anyway, and and finally, finally at 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 two star we have Thrower Nation. Thrower Nation has recovered from the Forbidden Game incident, which proved they weren't guilty. However, I might rescind that, change it to garbage, because they were guilty of an iron farm. No, actually, I'll just keep it at two star because they. Because they were caught using an iron farm, but they, but the people owning it did not know it. Oh, they own an iron farm, which is basically for money. Anyway, that's all for W News today, and thank you very much for being a, for for being a great audience. And now I need just need to get a call. Ow! Hey! Ow! Ow! What was that? What was that? Oh, can't six or not? Uh, can't six or not? What are you doing? I, I'm doing you with nothing but a respect. What the heck? I got a couple of things. What do, to what, say. Do, what do you want from me? I think it's my turn with the camera. Uh, I'll see myself out. But wait, actually, before I go, there's actually another thing. We have an interview with the Jungle Empire Emperor. Come on. 
Yeah, we have them on the screen right now. All right, so uh, welcome to the first ever interview. Well, second ever one, if you count it that way. Uh, welcome to the first ever interview on the W News channel with the Jungle Empire Emperor Blue Man. Hey, how's it going, guys? How's it going, uh, Jacko? Doing good, doing good. Uh, we have seven questions for you. All right, well, go ahead. Number, number one, where is the true egg Christ kept? The true egg Christ. Well, there is a true egg Christ. I can't say where it is because it's kind of top secret. It's somewhere. I'll say that. Fair enough. All right, number two. What's your opinion on the disappearances at the Jungle Empire Hospital? I've heard about these disappearances. Now, people don't go missing in Jungle Empire. Clearly, all these disappearances are just rumors. They have to be just rumors because no one ever goes dis. No one ever disappears. I see. I see. All right. Anyway, number three. What's your take on the workers' mistreatment claims by miners, the mine companies, by New Collar? Well. I don't believe them. Fair, I've, fair. I believe that my uh, the governor who's in charge of the colony is doing a good job at respecting the workers, as far as I can tell. True. Yeah, I believe he is too. Number, number, um, number four. Is your senator reliable? Yeah, so far he is. I've made him a uh, prime minister. Cool. But uh, so far he's uh, he's been pretty reliable. Yeah. Number number five, what will the Port Royal Colony mainly be focused on? Um, I'm thinking maybe manufacturing, just making stuff. Either that or all just right. uh, the full spectrum, mining, agriculture, all that, if I can't think of something. Based. Also, number six, the final question. I know I said seven, but I counted wrong. So, right. uh, what is your statement concerning the, uh, supposed Detroit facility? Detroit, the, uh... The, uh... Yes. The Detroit does exist. It's an international prison for people who have, uh, broken international law. So, That's you're saying that the leaked images are true? They are, in fact, true. But uh, they are for the worst kind of criminals. All right, all right, fair enough. Thank you for your time. All right, all right. thanks for all having right. me. Of course. Anyway, uh, I gotta go now. Thank you for joining us on W News. I'll see you next time. And I'm Jackson. Well, Jack. K6 or not? What are you doing here? I wasn't through yet. Oh, oh, you want to say something to the camera? Yes, please. Uh, all right, I'll see myself out. Just don't, don't shoot me. I, I, uh, ah, Get back uh, in the back room. It's my turn to talk. Uh, Cut me off last time. All right, well, he's gone now. Anyway. What is happening? Why is the sky red? In case if we're not should not be angry right now. Oh, what is happening? What is happening? I don't know. No, no, no. I don't know. It's a statue. It's gone. Sky Red's gone. The Red. There he is. God, why is he running? Oh. Ah! Child, do you not know why I am angry? Well, you must not have been here for the last couple of days. You see, there has been some claims that I am not real when I have been flying everywhere in this world, helping people and also taking care of some things that I will not mention here. This is public. But, one thing I can tell you is that if someone speaks out against me, they will be buried here in WarriorWare and they will not have a pleasant death. I might even bury him alive in Bedrock because I am God. No? I'm not? Well, that's your mistake, buddy. Now, child, you will listen and do as I say, or the consequences will be dire. Not like dire, dire docks. We're not playing that song here. That's too calming for this situation.
Now it's time for the actual sponsorship of the video. Well, you see, recently, the head of Wario's army has made a silent film, and we are going to premiere it here, right here, on the big screen. Now, let's watch. Yes, we are here with Name the King. Hello. Head of Wario's Army. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good, Mr. Chaos Explorer. How are you doing? Oh, I am doing splendid. I just got done building a statue of myself today. I feel quite satisfied. I bet you are, sir. Alright, so get along with the questions, huh? Alrighty. About your ahem, final exam silent video. I was quite impressed with it, with all the distinct camera angles and such. Uh, thank you so much, sir. So, how do you like bullying people? It's one of my favorite hobbies in my, in my pastime. It's so fun to do, and I just enjoy it thoroughly. Do you have any particular friends you like to bully? I like to bully someone named Liam Rollheads. Because he asked for a prize all the time from from a, someone called Y Guy, who's also on the realm with us too. He's a very cool person, by the way. He just likes talking men too much. It's kind of makes me bad. And he also likes Yoshi, leader of Africa. I'm gonna bully him for liking Yoshi, but I do like bullying Liam Rollheads because he steals the prize from out my nose, and I want to um, bully him senselessly. Any other questions? No. Here's a question for the lore of of the video, for the lore of it. Okay. So. So, why? Why was he coughing blood? Was there any reason or did it just happen all of a sudden? He was coughing blood because he was he was like he was a cancer patient, you know, he had lung cancer. So the whole base of the film is like for any spoilers out there, of course. The whole base of the film is I'm or the lead star, which is me, yours truly. Um, is friends with a other co-star, uh, guy's name, but we, he was, like, he was supposed to be a good friend from the beginning, he got sick, and then I was in denial at the end of it, like, during the whole movie, and it's very, very cool, I would not give any more spoilers than that, but he was talking blood because he was sick, and that was part of the plot. But, but sir, there are no spoilers, we just premiered your two-minute silent film. Oh, in that case, well, him coughing blood was supposed to represent him, like, di dying very slowly, right? And then went in the shots of me bullying him, or after he rejected me going to his table, and I start bullying him, right? And every time that I look away, he's gone. 
I'm in denial that he's dead. And I'm bullying him because he quote unquote bullied me. I don't know. But it's very, very unpleasant bullying for him. It's very pleasant for me. Because as you see in the film by slamming locker into his face, it's very fun. And I bet you you purposely did mistakes to do it over and over and over again. Is that right, sir? Oh yes. Oh yes. I wanted to do a lot more too. I wanted to body slam him. I wanted to break his pelvis in threes, and then I wanted to uh, punch him in the face and spit in his mouth. Ah uh, yes, just the just the casual stuff. Yeah, I, the, the producers wouldn't let me do anything a lot of those sorts. So, any others? Oh man. I, I really wanted to see it, because being God gets boring. Yeah. Maybe the prequel, or the sequel. How, how does it feel to be leader of Wario's army? It feels pretty good. I mean, it's very stressful at some points, but it's very, like, very feels a lot powerful. And uh, once again, with the bullying, it's, uh, it, it's very fun, because I get to bully other countries, because they, like, I have a certain opinion that's usually wrong. Uh, probably more like, like three times. First time was because he did talking Ben too much, kind of made me mad. Second time was because he liked the Yoshi, and like, not gonna lie, the Yoshi kind of sucks. Third time was just because, uh, just because Africa's stupid and also very, very poor. And I like messing with the poor. It's one of my favorite activities. Besides bullying. What's your, what is your opinion on Jackson being a senator of the Jungle Empire? I don't really have, I have mixed opinions about this point, so, uh, Jackson's a very, very, very capable individual, but he also has some quirks here and there. It's just, it's very interesting. He's very, very propaganda-ish, like, in the start of the First World War, he started propaganda, and I don't think he should have that, that position if he started propaganda, but if he's not going to do it ever again, I think it's a good position for him, and if he does anything funny, he will be executed by me. Lovely to hear that. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure the news anchor himself would love to hear this statement in this interview. What is your opinions on Thriller Nation? Thriller Nation was great all on top until they put that sign on the little pillar there. Very interesting with their Genshin Impact stuff. And I'm not a personal big fan of Genshin Impact because they are very um, money hungry and also very time consuming. And you can be spending your time like on, the, on Wario's Rare Casino. Yes, I I appreciate the plug there very much. You get you get very good appreciation from me. Thank you. It is the best casino. I've spent all my life savings there. <laughs> oh. Uh, other people have too, and it's lovely because I get all their savings. Anyway, enough about me. <laughs> uh, so, well, there's not really any more questions unless someone does something last second, which that doesn't seem to be the case. So, would you like to say anything else to the audience out there? Well, the last thing I'd like to say is the realm and the whole world is very, very peaceful until, you know, they started. Um, supporting Genshin Impact. When I say they, I mean by Thriller Nation. Michael Jackson's really cool. I like Michael Jackson. I'm for Michael Jackson. But Genshin Impact, I'm not. So if they start doing more Genshin Impact things, like being a shrine to them or anything like that, war will ensue. Alrighty. So, if, there, if there's nothing else to be said here, I think this was a great interview. Thank you, good sir. Name the king. Oh, well, uh, I had fun too. Yes. And that concludes. Have a fantastic yes, day, sir. And that and that concludes the interview with Name the King. We'll see you next episode. Have a good day. <laughs>